This video is about common operations on Excel worksheets with VBA, moving, deleting, renaming, and other common operations. You may want to move worksheets around within a workbook. Sub Demo XL3, Dim WS1 as worksheet. Set WS1 equals Sheets, Sheet 1. Dim WS2 as worksheet. Set WS2 equals Sheets, Sheet 2. WS2.move before colon equals WS1. Perhaps you have many worksheets and you want to sort them or make it easier for the user to find a particular worksheet. Sometimes you will want to activate a worksheet, like the user had clicked on that worksheet. Sub demo XL4. Dim WS1 as worksheet. Set WS1 equals sheets, sheet 1. WS1 dot activate. This could be useful to draw the user's attention to a particular worksheet. Say if you are doing a complex search for the user and want to show them the worksheet where you found a hit. You may want to delete a worksheet. Sub demo XL5. Dim WS4 as worksheet. Set WS4 equals sheets, sheet 4. Application dot display alerts equals false. WS4 dot delete. Application dot display alerts equals true. Perhaps you have done some scratch calculations on one of the worksheets and now you can delete it. Or perhaps you have rearranged information in the workbook and now the data on a worksheet is redundant, so you delete it. Application.DisplayAlerts equals false prevents a dialog from coming up before the sheet is deleted. But then after you have deleted the sheet, you should turn alerts back on with Application.DisplayAlerts equals true. You may want to copy a worksheet from one workbook to another. Sub Demo XL6 Dim WS3 as worksheet Set WS3 equals this workbook dot sheets sheet 3. Dim WB2 WS1 as worksheet. Set WB2 WS1 equals workbooks book 2 dot xlsx dot sheets sheet 1. WS3 dot copy after colon equals WB2 WS1. Now since there are two workbooks open, you have to start qualifying which workbook a particular worksheet lives in with syntax like this workbook and workbooks book 2xlsx you may want to rename a sheet sub demo xl7 dim ws as worksheet set ws equals sheets sheet 1 ws.name equals october 2013 data perhaps you have generated a new worksheet from imported data or calculated data and you have a better more descriptive name than sheet 1 if this video helped you, please watch my other videos, give this one a thumbs up, and subscribe.